In today's episode of Jace Answers, I'm going to answer a question from Elizir Kirako. And his question is, hello Jason, I uh, just want to ask regarding timer and screenshot tool. Do you use that during work? Is it alright to tell your client that you don't want to install tracking software? What's your advice about this one? So, um, Elizar is asking in, about time tracking tools. And just to give some context to everybody, time tracking tools, uh, Upwork has a time tracking tool and there are other time tracking tools that what they do is they track how much time you're working on a project so that you can the client will know how much they have to pay you and um, it also captures screenshots of your computer of what you're working on to show the client you're actually working on the project and you're not just on Facebook you're not just chatting with friends okay um, personally I don't use time tracking software I don't not with my clients I used to do it when I was in Upwork, okay? I used to do it when I was in Upwork. And the reason for that is that it's default on Upwork. Upwork clients are very used to using the time tracking software. So if you were dealing with a client on Upwork, in most cases, you're gonna have to deal with a time tracking software. Um, especially, and, and I do recommend that you do deal with a time tracking software because one of the benefits of working on Upwork is that if you track your time, um, the client's credit card will be automatically billed and you're going to get paid for that time. Okay, so I do recommend that if you're in Upwork, you do use their time, their team tracker. That's what they call it, Upwork team tracker, so that you have some assurance of getting paid for the time you work. Okay, so that's for Upwork clients. And, and, and Upwork clients will feel more at ease. They'll feel more comfortable if you use a tracker just because it's what they're used to if they're, they've been working on Upwork. But for clients outside of Upwork, okay, for clients outside of Upwork, I don't use time tracking software. Okay, I don't. Um, I, I just don't need to. The, the reason a client will ask you to use time tracking software is usually because of trust and credit or, or credibility. So if a client doesn't trust that you're doing the work and thinks that you're just wasting your time, then they might ask you to install time tracking software. Second is credibility. If well, a client will only think, will only really check the time tracking stuff if they feel that they're paying too much for the work that you're doing. Because um, if, if you're doing a great job, if you're doing an amazing job, a client doesn't care if you're going on Facebook every now and then, it doesn't care if you're chatting with friends, as long as you do a great job, he'll still pay for the work. It doesn't matter that you spend 10 minutes on Facebook and so on. Um, in fact, with my own I have a couple of VAs who work for me and I don't require them to use time tracking software because I don't care really about what they do, the details. What I care about is that they do the, get the work done. And with most clients, it's the same thing. They, they care that the work gets done. They don't really care if you spend 10 minutes on Facebook, five minutes on Facebook, you know, here and there. That's okay. What they care is your output. Um, how much work do you get done? So if you can prove to a client that you're competent, that you know what you're doing, and that you can get work done without supervision, then you don't need to install time tracking software. All right? Um, and th what's critical is that when you're talking to the client during the interview process, during the negotiation process, you're able to convince the client that you can do a great job, that you can produce the results that you promise. And if you can, if you can impress the client, then they won't care about tracking time. They won't care about that. Um, in fact, you might even do a flat rate, which is what I do with my clients. I just build them flat rate monthly. And they don't care how much time I spend on it. They just care about the output. Um, so if, if you're talking to a client and they say, hey, do you want to track? Or are we going to, do you have like a time tracking software, like Time Doctor? Um, if they're the ones that suggest it, then, you know, you might, you might be obliged to use it. Okay, you might be obliged to use it. You might have to use it if that's the kind of, if the client brings it up. But if a client doesn't bring it up, then don't even ask about time tracking software. Just say, I'm going to bill you $10 an hour um, for the work I do for you. 
that's it. Or like $500 a month or $600 a month for the work I do, and that's it. And the client will just care about your output. If you have to tell a client that you no longer want to use time tracking software, that's a bit of a hard situation. Um, I wouldn't say that up front to a client. Hey client, you know, we, I've been billing you, uh, I've been, we've been tracking time before, but now I don't want to track time anymore. It sounds kind of bad, like you're trying to hide something. And what I would do instead is I would switch from hourly to a flat rate pricing model and say, hey, Mr. Client, you've been paying me, let's say $500 a month on average. Um, how does it sound if, you know, instead of just paying me hourly $500 a month, just, just pay me a flat rate $500 a month and I'll get, I'll get the same amount of work done for you. Okay. And then that way you don't really need to have to install time tracking software and they'll just pay you a flat rate. You get the work done and that's it. Okay. And, and I, I, I know that clients will agree to that. Most clients will agree to that if you do your job well and if they're a reasonable client. Um, for any of you guys watching, let me know, do you build, do you use time tracking software? And what time tracking software do you use? Or, or, do you, or are you like me who doesn't track time and just bills like a flat rate monthly? Let me know in the comments down below so that we can discuss that. And if you have any questions for me, let me know as well so I can answer them in a future episode. Or you can leave me a voice message over at ask.jasonduli.com. I'll talk to you later.